Hey, what's up guys? It's Ben. Just want to welcome you real quick. Today we're playing Eternal Fate. This uh, game just came out recently. It is free to play on Android and iOS. It is an MMORPG uh, in the hack and slash genre. This is the hero I'm using right now. It is a mage, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, unlike many other games that sort of pretend that they are MMORPGs, which stands for massively multiplayer online role-playing game this one actually is in other words for example uh, the player in blue standing right uh, next to us is an actual player he is a real player uh, Harlequin Hall is that his name <laughs> so we can actually go into a dungeon or, or go complete a quest together and he's playing at the same time as us so there you have it uh, I don't know if there is a, a chat option in this game, but there are definitely emotes, so you can wave like this. And for example, if I had just made a pretty funny joke, <laughs> there you go. So uh, later on in this video, I'm going to be summoning about 10 heroes, so stick around and uh, we'll jump right into a dungeon and show you guys a little bit more of the game. Uh, I have completed three dungeons so far. Let's see the fourth one. Hmm. It looks like above average difficulty. I don't think I can do it alone. There is nobody actually right now playing because uh, if there are other players already playing, you can join them in real time. But there will be an icon showing that there are uh, players already playing that stage. Right now, there are none. So uh, let's. Uh, I think I'll just jump into the second stage. And just a quick reminder, likes and comments are always much, much appreciated. And here we go. So this is the start of the uh, second stage. Our hero or our present hero is a fire mage. So we can, uh, the basic attack is shooting fireballs. The secondary attack is a fire spiral. And the special attack is some sort of a fire blast. Of course, every hero has different uh, skills, attacks, weapons, etc. These can be changed as well uh, for each hero. Even within each class, you can change the, the equipments and loadout, just like uh, in Dungeon Hunter or um, Darkness Reborn. Uh, you can pick items, for example, this item, uh, once you throw it at the, the kind of spiky ice ball, uh, if you throw it at an opponent, it will stun them. This clock, if you throw it at an opponent, as you just saw, it will slow them down. And there is a third uh, item that you can pick up, uh, like a throwable object, which is a bomb. And all it does is uh, extra damage. Uh, each stage has different missions uh, in order to complete it. So this one has, says, uh, find and destroy the corrupted spire. Uh, some other stages might be, uh, oh, survive uh, five waves of enemies, and uh, so on and so forth. And I'm holding this clock. Let's throw it at that little thing. They're almost too cute uh, for me to want to kill them, but uh, I have no choice. <laughs> I have to do it. And there is that bomb that I mentioned earlier. There are uh, chests that you can open uh, within each stage. Uh, two colors so far, there are two different chests so far that I've noticed. The blue one has gold and other uh, precious items like a summoning crystal that we just found. And the red chest is basically uh, uh, with the, filled with healing potions. And uh, as we need, as we're losing uh, health, let's go ahead and uh, get some more, get some more back. Should be close to the ending of the stage. Get away from me! Once uh, you kill the enemies, they do not respawn. And you may be wondering, but Ben! Like a, a week or two weeks ago, you were playing Dungeon Hunter 5, now you're playing this, they're similar. What's up with that? Well, that is right. Um, I start, I was playing, uh, I started playing Dungeon Hunter 5 about three weeks ago. 
And after reaching level 7 or 8, I decided to stop and I quit the game because I realized or I felt that uh, the developers of the game were just a bit too pushy. Like they were way too aggressive about making you actually do the uh, buy, buy the items, make uh, real money purchases. I have no problems with that. I did it before. I still do it to this date, spending money on games. I mean, but I don't like to be pushed and uh, really didn't appreciate it in the game. So that is it. Uh, as you saw at the end of each stage completed, you can actually share your video. So you guys, if you guys are playing and you had just you just had an epic stage with a bunch of uh, really fun or good players, and you guys want to share the video with me, that's how you just click on that button and. Uh, there you go and I've created a guild triple Ben gaming if you guys want to join me we'll go do some dungeons together or complete some quests and it is time now for some hero summoning I hope you guys enjoy it and uh, bump that like button don't forget to subscribe check out some of my other videos and most importantly keep playing